why it really is. It's story time again. And I got to on my... I know, I love tickling them. And it's, uh, I got on my war paint because this is about the war in, in heaven. And I just have to show you my Elmo's. I got the big Elmo. See, this is the big Elmo. And I hug him so much. And he's so nice. And sometimes he talks, sometimes he don't. This guy, but this guy talked like a chatterbox over here. This guy, this guy, he's a good one sometimes. But now he's not even working. He's not plugged in. But I got my own little collection of tickles. So it's time to have good story time with all your friends and grab them. Even if they don't talk, it don't matter because they're, they're just so fun to hug sometimes. Oh, there he goes. Big hug. Big hog and the tickles. Okay, so let's all pretend together right now that uh, we're there in the spirit seeing the war in heaven and how it ended up. We know the end of that story. Satan was defeated. Yay! Yeah, it's true. I love hugs. And that's what uh, Ringo Starr said. He says in this COVID, there's no more hugs. <sighs> Even though the devil has been removed, uh, some things have never been caused by him at all. He, is, he did not, the devil or God did not send uh, COVID. What sent it is our disobedience unto the uh, dietary commands of letting the trees of the leaves be our meat. We uh, broke the laws of God and now we're suffering the consequences. So we can't blame God and we can't blame the devil because it's because we became uh, of meat eaters. And uh, I'm the worst to talk about that one because I love me a good burger. But that's why Bill Gates, partially why Bill Gates is jumping up and down, beloved, because the bottom line is uh, he's talking about, you know, uh, engineered processed veggie meat. And I'm telling you, that is our future. Reminds me of Soylent Green. Anybody remember Soylent, Soylent Green? I'm just looking for my glasses or on my head. No. Well, in that case, I got to put on my love hat because I scalped somebody. Since I got a war paint, I might as well have... Uh, actually, I scalped myself about a year ago. Uh, last year in the summer. And uh, so now I got my love hat on. I'm ready for the war. The war against the spirit. Sword of the Spirit versus the demonic. Kaboom. They, and that was the last big fight with the sword. But now the Lord has gone like that and transformed, beaten the uh, sword of the Spirit into the sickle of love from Amos 9. The harvest is now. And he commands for the wheat to leave the tares. And oh, there's my glasses. Good stuff. And they weren't even on top of my head. So love from love, beloved, and I I know that you'll enjoy. That was my exercise for the day. I know that you will enjoy this. And uh, so, salut. Good coffee. I'm a Starbucks guy, and I got my love cup. If you don't have a love hat, make sure you get a love cup. And if you don't have either, just have a loving heart. That's all we really need. Uh, we need not to commit the blaspheme of the Holy Spirit, unforgivable sin of letting our love light go out. And uh, it's always been about love alone, people, because that is our everlasting light in our bodies made of the love of God. Uh, we are his angels. All creation was waiting for the revelation of who is the sons and daughters of God. I dare to believe the Bible of things concerning the future of my sons and daughters and the work of my hand, command ye me, thus saith God, Isaiah 45. I did. I did command him. And I wanted to know. <laughs> oh, I found out. Uh, that's why people are ignoring me. That's all right. I love them anyway. But uh, in ignoring me, you're ignoring the one who has sent his message. You're spitting right at Jesus Christ if you ignore me as you like it. As long as it's not the unforgivable sin, he will forgive all. So, beloved, know that these are the days to look back upon my vision of the great 
of comments of uh, Satan, Beelzebub, the devil. Uh, he is the anointed cherub. He's the prince of the power of the air, defeated. And he is not what we imagine him to be. He's just a puny little heretic. Now that he's been removed, Isaiah foreshadowed and uh, foretold the day that we would look down upon him in the pit. And think, is that the puny little guy that caused so much trouble? And most of it was in our mind. I mean, uh, our superstitiousness uh, was akin to uh, fairy tales. You know, uh, millions of people thinking that Satan is whispering at them. And meanwhile, that's like Santa. Uh, it, it, Satan has never been everywhere in one time. If he was like Santa Claus, uh, <laughs> it, it, do the math and you'll come to realize with 8 billion people in this world, he would never have the time to see more than so many a day because he's limited. God is not limited. He, 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 he doesn't have an interdimensional uh, uh, route. And now, because he can no longer be the accuser of the brethren, he has been removed. Praise God, because God says in this hour revealed, um, Jeremiah 31, I shall um, return my terrifying anger and stop the fast rising great tribulation, Jeremiah 30, 24, if you give me what I want, which is to love each other. <laughs> That's not a bad command. But uh, the bottom line is that uh, in this hour, Satan can never... Uh, be the accuser of the brethren and go before God anymore as the book of Job clearly is taught because God says I will forgive your iniquity my beloved and I will never remember it if he remembered it he would become a liar instantaneously so take that to the bank so accursed are all of those evildoers who were blessed with overflowing light for their filthy dirty service shall never be able to be cleaned up not in the uh, overnight and it's going to take a little while and accursed is the awaiting pit above all other pits that has no below where satan and his has gone now and his other uh followers shall, shall soon go for his dominion shall always be either of flames or of the darkest darkness after all uh diablo has long lived to condemn and to convict mephistopheles Damnation has been his legacy, and such shall consume him and all of his minions. And uh, it shall consume all deviant sons of the smoldering hellfire, whose testimony shall evermore be damned with, by the greatest dam damnation of Sheol, a hell to humble their puffed up pride. But they would, they would damn themselves if some will not turn back on their love. And uh, I do believe that's possible. And uh, I haven't had full revelation about anything other really than Satan. He has been removed. His followers, they have been, uh, Satan was struck as the uh, their shepherd. Now his flock has fled to the uh, outer places of earth. And then in my vision, as I was watching this, this happened years ago. It was a vibrant, colorful, uh, God-sent vision. And uh, as this was happening, without any warning, I, it was like I was seeing through a fog uh, darkly, but yet at times it was crystal clear, and it was in and out of focus uh, because it has been that we've been seeing through a glass darkly, beloved. But uh, now, now we can shine as the stars that we've been created to be. And in my vision, without any warning whatsoever, I found myself back in the spirit as a great cloud of heavenly inspiration lifted me upwards while the wind of God blew me very hard towards the dismal place where the de banished devil uh, was sent to and no more to be upon earth. And uh, for he was gathered together with Ten thousands of his uh, thousands of his demons upon God's holy mountain in Jerusalem, and that's where they first met before Satan was grabbed by Michael. And all this took place over Israel. Uh, why I don't know, but uh, God God does what He wants. But I know that they gathered there in uh, rebellion just to tick God off. They picked Jerusalem, 
uh, for some reason. And uh, I think I know why, but I, 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 I can't rightly say 100%, so I'm not even going to say it. Until I get a flag to uh, give something, I can't even uh, give something that I don't have. So all I know, all around Satan, uh, to his left, that old snake of Eden, the dragon who was cast down, and to his right were many legions freshly barred from heaven's gate. Uh, and they were ever so pissed off as hundreds of those night crawlers waited for some words from the ruthless leader also put outside of heaven like a bad, bad dog into the doghouse with him. This was before Michael actually grabbed him and hogtied that old dragon. And that's what's happened in Daniel 12, 1. In the latter days of the latter day, Daniel, who I am, that shall cause the shattering of the power of the holy people, Daniel 12, 7, because um, the uh, word of God was only open and closed until the time of the end, Daniel 12, 9. So when the, the word of God reopened to me, then what happened was all the canons of man-made religion broke asunder because I was chosen to restore all things, all spiritual truth. If the religions of man, uh, Judaism, uh, Christianity, and Islam, if they do not open their uh, closed canons for the restored word, then they're spitting at Muhammad and they're spitting at Paul. Paul wrote, concerning prophetic uh, words, such must be uh, inspected most carefully in all that's good, embraced, like the news of Satan being removed. That's good news, if you believe Daniel 12. And uh, Muhammad said the same thing. He said, people, you have no ground to stand upon unless you stand upon the law, the gospel, and all revelation that comes unto you from your Lord. And so these are amazing days, amazing and uh, twas uh, a night gathering, a very, very black mass when they first met at the beginning of this. This is like a flashback to the beginning of the challenge that, that ensued. Um, I'm reading these kind of a little out of order, uh, but that's how it came to me in sp in, with the inspiration. Uh, it, it was a very black mass, a, ma a mess of ugliness, and a whole lot of tempers were shaking like some bad ner nerves in the awful winds of those hordes of stench. It was therefore a night of fist, fist shaking, a night of the darkest darkness grossly coming unto earth to bring the thickest gross darkness towards everyone that they wanted to gross out. But praise the Lord, our son of love now rises with healing in his wings to destroy that gross darkness, and so shall it be as his word has stated. And twas therefore a night of vamps, a night of imps, a night of minions, and a night uh, to be up to no good for those hordes from hell. But it was also their time to start uh, their attack on man after Satan was removed. Uh, and uh, the good thing is they know that they're defeated, so they can't do much except twiddle their their uh, thumbs, but I don't even know if they have thumbs. A demon grabbed me once in a church during a, uh, a deliverance, an exorcism of someone, and uh, I saw in my uh, afterwards, and it hurt like hell when it happened. It, it was like a, a little paw print. It was like three or four fingers, I forget. It was not five. It was three or four, and I, I tend to think it was four, but I don't think I remember seeing like a fully opposable thumb. Um, so it was, uh, it was a, like a deformed imp hand, if you want to call it that. For at that point, the, the rapture uh, was ongoing. And uh, within a moment of a moment, people can ascend unto that great white cloud of Revelation 14 because he is put in his sickle to reap the earth. The mystery of God is over. Uh, uh, Revelation 10, 7, and the seventh trumpet has blown first. And when that happens, according to the scripture, just Google uh, seventh trumpet of Rev Revelation, and you will see what happens is all nations immediately become the Lord's. And that's a pretty good trick, considering that all nations have always been the Lord's. Uh, Thus saith God in Jeremiah 32, 27, I am the Lord God of all mankind, all nations. So what has changed? The kingdom age veil has been ripped by his uh, Elijah, servant of uh, Malachi 3 and 4. I am Shiloh foretold. And uh, Moses uh, used that name Shiloh because uh, 
the first, uh, the first Elijah, I'm the third, uh, the first Elijah had not yet come forth, so he didn't even know his name, so he attributed the name Shiloh to uh, Elijah. And um, in Deuteronomy 18, 18, he said the same prophecy as uh, Malachi 4, 6, that unless, you know, uh, if, uh, unless the hearts of uh, the fathers turn to the children, children to the fathers, and everybody starts loving everybody, this earth would be destroyed, total oblivion of Isaiah 24, Zephaniah 1, um, Matthew 24, 22, Deuteronomy 18, 18, and Isaiah 24, the whole chapter. So, beloved, uh, these are the days of revelation, if you will receive it. And uh, know that uh, there was, uh, nor was there any good present uh, in the world any longer. As such, those ghouls that were all dressed up and no place to go, they were very excited as uh, before Satan was uh, taken away uh, back before the battle really commenced. Uh, Satan strolled up in front of all of them, spinning his wheels like he was some big wheel that would happily run away uh, and run over any others if anyone got in the way. And uh, so behold, he was pacing black and forth like a black lion would. And he was the roaring black lion that had been roaming to see who he could destroy. And he was a cursing man to his sidekicks. Such jealousy has been over us because we were created last. The first is last, the last is first. We are the last to be created because we are to be the first beloved. And uh, what that means is we're the, the glory of the latter house. Google that. The glory of the latter house shall be greater than that of the former, the Bible says. And that's because we are angels. All the creation has grown for the revelation of who is the sons and daughters of God. And Jesus told us in uh, John 10, we are as gods. Now, there's never been any other God, um, just a false understanding of his love. So all the Christians pointing at the uh, Allah, uh, false God, false God. No, he's not. God has never been a false God. He is what he is. He's love. And uh, so, but the bottom line is, uh, uh, false understanding of his love and so did Christians and so did uh, Islam uh, or Judaism rather. All, everyone in the world has had a, a, a false understanding of his love because his love was veiled. If his love had not have been veiled uh, there would have been ages of Caligula and Sodom and Gomorrah all rolled in all together as one. Trust me that is the truth. And um, his butt was finally barred from heaven back then. And then that most haughty son of pride quickly gave all of his fe fellow rebels a little speech. And Satan, Lucifer, said unto them, that old snake of Eden, as a pep talk, he's talking to his demons. And he did, in my vision, he said this, We have walked to and fro the earth for centuries, eons, while getting direction from the Lord in between heaven was open, uh, Book of Job proclaims that Satan and his minions would go before the Lord, even though that they were in their fallen state. God allowed it up until now. Now it's been barred from them. Uh, but now is our blazing time to shine as children of hell's fire, for we are now free to do as we please upon the earth. We can crush, kill, destroy, and maim, and bring lots of aggravation. Nor is the Holy Spirit going to be our adversary. Oh, he was wrong. Because it's never been not by might nor by power, but by the spirit of love. And Jesus Christ Almighty goes forth as the great white horseman of Revelation 6 uh, with the, the bow uh, just for me. I am his arrow of Isaiah 49 that has been hidden until the latter days. As it was foretold, the vision of God was in Habakkuk 2, King James and the Jewish Bible. It was for the appointed time at the end, and God promised, but it shall surely come. Wait for it, it will come. Behold, he whose soul is not upright, but the just shall live by his faith, even though he's been transgressed by wine. And it was not erased, the true prophecy. Other, uh, other translations were so unfaithful because no one could ever imagine anyone getting anything from an alcoholic. My God, but I've been a good one. I used to get drunk. I haven't been drunk in many, many years. But uh, so Satan says, we are now free to do as we please. 
Um, and as he says, since Elohim is now preparing for the marriage supper of the Lamb, actually that's happening now at this channel. Who will feed the master's house meat while the master is away? Jesus, Isa Yeshua asked in Matthew 24, and he just told him it's Elijah who would restore all things, Matthew 17, 11. And what I've restored is Christ's own word because the kingdom age covenant is this, I will be your God, you will be my people. I will forgive all your iniquity and I will never remember it. And uh, I will write my law and my love upon your hearts and no one else shall ever need to be taught of me ever again. That's it, Jeremiah 31, 33 to 35. That's the, the, the centerpiece of it. But actually the covenant is chapters 31 and 32 pretty well in its entirety because it specifies everything uh, so that there's no room for doubt but the everlasting covenant has been mangled people and never understood it because early Christian followers grabbed that covenant and said yep yeah, but you got to believe they changed the word of God they let their tradition and their religion add to God's word that brought forth a voice of condemnation that was put there not on purpose and it gave, uh, it created nothing but bedlam. And Satan was laughing over this for a long, long time, but no more, beloved. And Satan said, thus we are free to kill, maim, hurt, and torture uh, whatsoever we may. At this point, he was still delusional, and he thought that he was going to win that war. And, uh, but he has found out otherwise because his butt is on ice and um, cold ball, uh, snowball in hell uh, is melting and he's got a real hot butt now. And, uh, but he said, uh, he said, we shall walk the darkened earth and not have any more godly light until Christ's return. And he was wrong about that also. Rongo bongo. Neither shall we have to take any more orders from the Most High. His pride goeth before a fall, and, and he thought that he could actually snub God and win. His Creator was never going to uh, be in the cards for him. And, uh, and he says, as we search for those that we can bring unto slaughter, so shall it be that we won't have to listen to that guy. For as, for as it is written in Revelation 13, that foresaw that God is going to allow all of us to, be, to overcome any new tribulation age saints as we please. And he was reading this out of order. He forgot the little uh, uh, truth that the first are last, the last are first. See, him being um, thrown into the pit was one of the last things according to the schedule of man. And he was deceived by God's uh, code that the first were last and the last were first. So the great deceiver was deceived by truth because the code word had to be, uh, and, and because uh, the seven trumpet uh, sounded uh, first because it was last. And uh, that's why it sounded first. And that, then all nations became the Lord. In the same way, the one of the very last things uh, according to the word is that Satan would be thrown into the pit. But that uh, has been aborted. Uh, just as Nineveh was not destroyed in Jonah 3, it was changed. God relented because the first is last, the last is first. In his schedule, that was one of the first things so that God could bring his mercy unto all flesh and so that he could pour out his love upon us all as in days of Noah so that uh, we don't have to have the real flood. We could have a flood of love instead if we so choose that. If we will keep ignoring the very messenger that God has sent to turn that around, then you will have nothing but destruction. And uh, But praise God, it is fully erasable if people will ever give me the time of the days. Uh, I'm, I'm frustrated out here because, you know what, billions of people need to know about my message and I got out less than 185 for the last six months and uh, it's creeping. No one likes the station. No one, even though it's all kingdom age love and kingdom age peace, love, 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 forgiveness, 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 mercy, 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 Satan's removal, misunderstanding of the word of God, uh, distortion, remove, veil has been ripped. No one trusts has any faith in prophecy because I've connected all prophecy exactly as it is written and no one believes it. I know what's going on. I'm not dumb dumb. Problem is they can't believe me because they don't believe Jesus. They don't believe that some guy 
would he actually come out of nowhere and restore all things, number one. And how's he going to do that? Well, I've given the kingdom age covenant that was foretold in Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah 31, 1 for the latter days. It says so. And for the latter days, his covenant messenger would come, uh, Malachi 3, 1, to prepare Christ's own way by his own word with no unlawful additions or traditions of man inserting, but you got to do or believe anything because that nullified all the ancients. See, uh, the everlasting covenant, God put one hand out across uh, everlasting past and the other across everlasting future to be even over all the ancients because God's never been a respecter of men. His, his everlasting covenant has been over all people. But as soon as they said, but you got to believe, that totally eliminated all that was before Christ because they could not have believed in Jesus because he had not even come yet. And so they changed the word of God and said, yep, and as soon as you believe, then you have everlasting covenant, everlasting forever. But they forgot all about eternity past. The whole thing was a joke because they switched it, and uh, it was written correctly. To the blessing uh, it was it was the son of Esau, the younger brother stole the older brother's blessing. Uh, Jacob stole Esau, and it was early Christians. On no no malice, no they just misunderstood. It was error, and they stole Israel's blessing. So what what's happened now that? Uh, the, the covenant has been given as God said to Israel and all mankind. Well, what's happened is uh, Israel has inherited all of mankind, uh, Isaiah 54. And these are the days of the fullness of Gentiles, which I have been bringing. And uh, now all Israel is saved because of the covenant God made with them, Romans 11, 25 to 27. And because of this, now all faith on planet Earth is totally obsolete, rendering Christianity, Islam, and uh, Judaism totally obsolete in the face of the perfect covenant of God being given to all mankind. I could not make up such a good story as that. And the the uh, Diablo, Iblis, Satan, he said, and as my antichrist wannabe, I'm adding that word, Morgan Knight, morgue official, uh, the one that would die from a sword in Revelation 13, 13 and ascend to become the Antichrist. He's a freak show uh, sword swallower. He really is. Uh, just Google or YouTube it. Uh, YouTube it. Uh, Morgan official, he'll pop, he is as death. He preaches a gospel of no God, atheistic, and uh, he was hurt very badly, and I understand why. Uh, so it, religion became something evil to him, and it, it really did an evil thing to his brain, and he just has lacked understanding is all. But uh, the bottom line is this guy, he's got the 666 right on the wall right behind him. Uh, I got the right guy, and it, it was foretold that the lawless one had to be um, revealed before Jesus could come back as Emmanuel to all people. So, hey, praise God, he's been revealed. We are a big step closer towards the Lord coming back. And uh, it says so, Second Thessalonians, he must be revealed before Christ comes back. So that should give me a little bit more validity about something, but yet no one is paying any attention to me. They're just ignoring this channel. I mean, I'm growing slowly but surely, but uh, I think I've got out of 900 videos uh, so far, and I've just started, I think I've got maybe, uh, I don't know, five or six comments, maybe 10 at the most, out of 25,000 views. You do the math. And uh, uh, likes, I don't, I don't think I remember one like. I really don't think I've seen one like out of 25,000 views. My God, is that sick because I am preaching the same message that Jesus did, and this is how you would treat the master? Just ignore him? So Satan says, as my antichrist, Morgan, Morg official, prepares their graves. Wow, what a, what a good fit, Morg. He couldn't have picked a better name. And he, uh, unfortunately, I was bugging Morg, and I got him to take down a video uh, I didn't intend for that to happen. It was called Message of Mr. Morgan. He took it out and he says, and we have never uh, implied violence in this world, but he promised in that video to paint the world blood red with Christian blood. Because <laughs> he preaches hatred of Christians. Just listen to him. 
So anyways, I couldn't make up such story that good. So Satan says, and as my Antichrist prepares their graves, so I say woe unto all those upon earth, beloved, for uh, the time of our greatest wrath is now before us. And so will it be that our treasure of souls will be laying before us like some red rubies. Boy, that, this guy was twisting it all. Uh, pride, pride, haughty, arrogant. And he said, and we can now freely trample upon the 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 just as a huge flood of, of as a few a fast flowing flood of blood soon fills the streets and the alleyways and the wide ways which shall lead unto our hell for all of them and our victims shall lay defeated under our, our blackest wings then all of my demons you listening to me can scrape up their spirits like our booty of riches that we shall never have to bury and their stink shall us ascend unto the heavens beloved that's what he was saying so love from love and just know satan has had a nothing but desolate empty promises as desolate as our man-made religions have been isaiah 49 8 go argue with isaiah he was correct there is no love there is no faith on planet earth as jesus asked would there be any faith on planet Earth before he comes? Absolutely none. Not for prophecy. I've connected it all. And anyone opposing to me is Antichrist. And they're standing in his line by default. True story. Yep, yep, yep.